Ladies and gentlemen, I'm using this under the Fair Use Act, and you're going to find this quite interesting. So this was Kent Christmas' most recent video, August the 18th of 2023. Now, I want to point out in this also that, you know, these all these ones are funny about their copyright. All of these ones are funny about, hey, you don't steal my copyrighted stuff. But again, I'm using this under the Fair Use Act, and I'm going to show you what his new prophetic message is, one of them, in this video. Now, that the arrogance of these men and women that have stood on my platforms uh, and occupied places uh, that have written books that millions have bought uh, and yet they could not live what they preached uh, would not fall on the rock of ages uh, would not cry out because not only did they do it knowing it was wrong but they took pleasure therein uh, so I'm going to remove them for your sake saith the Lord uh, and you're going to begin to walk into the atmosphere so if you didn't catch that, he's prophesying, supposedly given a prophecy about how these great men, supposedly great men of God who have written books, knowingly done wrong, done a wrong in written books and enriched themselves making millions off of writing those books when in fact they did do wrong, that the Lord is going to remove them. Now, this is actually not a prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually all he's doing is stating what he already knows has come to pass and will continue to come to pass. You have ones like Robin Bullock that I've taken down one of his channels for stealing copyrighted material from my books and claiming that it was his prophecies. You also have Thomas Ho uh, Tom Horn, Skywatch TV. I took that channel, his original channel, down. I've already given Jonathan Kahn some copyright strikes and dealing with Perry Stone. So all he's doing is stating the obvious that he knows because all these ones run in the same circle. What Ken is doing, he's trying to jump off the ship that they're all alone that's heading for a crash course. Just as Mario Murillo did, Mario Murillo was caught up with all these ones and headed down that same crash collision course. And Kent is simply trying to jump off of it, but while at the same time trying to give a so-called prophecy. The thing about this, ladies and gentlemen, he already knows this has been happening because they're all, again, in the same circles, and I'm sure they all have their little therapy sessions with one another about how I've given them copyright strikes and taken some of them's channel down already. Because understand that when I take their channels down, yes, they can start a new channel, but they never gain the notoriety that they once had. You see that with Tom Horn's new Skywatch channel, and also with Robin Bullock, and also with Timothy Dixon. They never regain that following on those channels, which means they lose millions of dollars. Timothy Dixon was making, I know at least, just off of YouTube views, 55, at least 55,000 a year based on that YouTube channel that I removed. He had a little over 111,000 subscribers. Now he has just barely over 13,000. He will never regain it. The same with Tom Horn Skywatch TV. He had over 600,000 subscribers. Now I think he might be around somewhere around maybe 40,000, somewhere in that general area, he will never, ever, ever regain the millions of dollars he lost. But notice, I want to point this out, I've sent these people cease and desist letters. Know that. I sent, before I had their channels taken down, I sent them warnings, gave them warnings privately and openly. Cease and desist letters, emails, telling them they needed to stop stealing the prophetic words that were given to me, which is a violation of Jeremiah 23.30. So know this, that Kent, he's not given a prophecy from God. Listen to that again. Now, that the arrogance of these men and women that have stood on my platforms uh, and occupied places uh, that have written books that millions have bought uh, and yet they could not live what they preached uh, would not fall on the rock of ages uh, would not cry out because not only did they do it knowing it was wrong but they took pleasure therein uh, so I'm going to remove them 
for your sake, saith the Lord. And you're going to begin to walk. He's trying to give a prophecy, but that's not a prophecy. He already knows that I've begun the process with these people. And again, I've already taken some of them's platforms down. Tom Horn, Skywatch TV, was the first huge channel that I took down. And I took down one of Timothy's recently and Robin Bullock's. And, and again, I show this in previous videos that I've done. I show where I've taken these channels down. I present the evidence. And what Kent is doing here, the reason Kent is saying this, because Kent, Kent's church is in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, that's not far from where Perry Stone's church is. I think Kent, I really think Kent is hoping that when Perry's church collapses and it's all exposed that he's not a prophet and that he has not done research and he's only stolen the prophetic words from me and others, I think Kent's hoping to capitalize on that and rake in some of uh, Perry Stone's followers. Or perhaps even Jonathan Kahn, because those are the two that I'm really targeting right now and uh, going after for stealing the prophetic words that were given to me. Y'all be sure to share this. God bless.